Welcome back to part two of making this DTI holder for use on my milling machine. The reason I came up with my own design was because I wanted it to be particularly compact and versatile to fit with this boring head, but also using the stub arbor to be able to use it with ER32 collets. Okay, a couple of projects where the DTI holder is going to be necessary. The first is this Myford large fixed steady which I'm making the, the subject of another series and uh, this counterbore here uh, definitely required the DTI holder to pick up that hole relative to um, the inner hole and uh, that counterboring operation I couldn't have done it without this the second project is very much in the future this is the overarm support bracket for the mini machine and uh, the distance between these holes uh, is precise and I need to also bore them to a nice accurate diameter. This DTI holder is going to be invaluable for that project too. Okay it's time to make this link now that's going to be made from a piece of mild steel, a piece of flat here. So I've cut it to approximate length so we'll mark it out and then we'll pick up these uh, three centers um, I'll scribe the outside um, and then we'll go to the miller machine and um, mill these sides and in the drill drill out three, three holes. Um, I haven't got a slot drill so I'm going to drill the holes and then use an end mill to connect the two holes together to make the slot. This marking out might not be strictly necessary, but it's certainly helpful when you're on the machine to have a line to work up to. I have three holes to produce here, two for the slot, and I'm carefully opening them up from the smallest size to quarter inch diameter. This is only the second time I've used my mini rotary table for radiusing, this time in steel. And I was encouraged to see that even in a climb milling setup where I have the where I have the cutter and the work moving in the same direction, I had no problems whatsoever. There was no tendency for the table to grab. Everything was very smooth. So having pre-drilled the end holes for my slot, that quarter inch diameter, I'm now using a standard quarter inch end mill to mill the plane section and so form the slot. As per the marking out, I'm now reducing the width of the strip to produce a wasted section. This is mainly aesthetic, but uh, I guess it makes it look a little more professional. We're nearing completion now and it's time just to produce a, a couple of washers and um, the advantage of making them is that I can make them tapered so that I've got a smaller pressure area for the nut and a larger area to butt up against the strip. I think that made a nice um, finishing touch to the project. Uh, you can see here I'm also using my rear tool post holder for parting off and uh, this makes a huge difference to uh, parting off much more successful using the rear tool post holder. With all the components cleaned and deburred we're finally ready for assembly of the DTI holder.
that's about as low as my table goes. So I've moved the table right down to the lowest position. Uh, this is a fixed dimension, of course, on my boring head. And um, with this tucked up right underneath, I can just about bring the casting into position. And I will be able to bore that out um, with this boring head and set it up with this uh, DTI holder. So that's the reason for this particular design. So by reconfiguring things, I can also pick up the center of larger diameters um, if I move the DTI to the other side. And uh, there's one last function which I can now use this for, and that's tramming the table. So how do we do that? Like this. Yeah. Like that, and then like that. So now I can use this to properly tram my head into the table. Um, that's me measuring zero. And this is three thou. So it's three thou out over what's at about uh, one foot. So it's not too bad, but uh, I can use that now to tram the head. So one uh, design deficiency in this, which I didn't anticipate, is this uh, resonance, this springiness here. And uh, I think the simplest way to get around that would be to make this um, thicker. Um, it's not a problem um, normally, uh, but it shows up more when you're tramming the table like this and it's fully extended. Uh, the next project is going to be um, continuing on the Myford large fixed steady. So I needed this to continue with that project. So we'll get back to that in the next episode. Thank you for joining me.